Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. Alright, let's start a new run. I'm hoping for a paladin or a priest. Because... Oh, I didn't mean to press shop. Because... I have one for deal 100 damage to, to enemy heroes, which can be done by any class, of course. Win three games with any class, which can be done by any class, of course. And win five games with paladin or priest, of which I need two more wins. So if I get a paladin or priest, I can start making progress on all of these quests. Although, if there's also a rogue being offered up, or maybe a warrior, I don't know what I want. A paladin or a priest? Well, it turns out it doesn't even matter. Alright, warrior or mage? I don't want to play a druid. Hmm. Let's go with warrior. Alright, once again, I'm going to focus on the low costers. Armor Smith. Whenever a friendly minion takes damage, gain one armor. Hmm. That's a neat card. I'm not really familiar with it. But... How good is it really? I mean, you are getting a 1-4 for 2, which seems kind of good. It's not really going to kill a whole lot. But to have 4 health for such a relatively low cost is pretty good. Hmm. I don't know about it, though. It seems like that might be more useful. It seems like this might be more useful in a uh, constructed deck where you have... Uh, whatever the card you have... Um, is it Shield Slam? The one where it deals damage equal to the amount of armor you have. It seems like it'd be better for that. Let's go with the Ravenhold Assassin. Oh, definitely Bloodsail Raider, because I'm very likely to get weapons. Cultmaster or Raging Worgen? Let's go to Raging Worgen. Don't want shield block. Uh, Mad Bomber or Cruel Taskmaster. Uh, let's go with Mad Bomber. Hmm. These are all pretty good. Demolisher? You know, I could use some one-costers. Then again, isn't this thing just going to die to anything that does damage? It's only got one health. You know, if I had some low-cost taunts, then could be useful. It's probably just going to die, though. Let's go with the Demolisher. I don't really want the Ventrica. I'm thinking Silverhand Knight or Cult Master. Mm, well, at the moment, I don't have any card draw. So... Let's go with the Cult Master. I mean, one card draw card is definitely not enough, but I also want some late game punch or really, you know, fairly powerful stuff. I'm not sure if you can consider a five coster late game punch, but it's pretty damn powerful. Priestess of a loon, no. Charge, no. Cleave, hell yes. Good removal. Archmage, no. Charge, no. I guess it's going to be the dragonling mechanic. Arcane Golem. I do not want to give my opponent a mana crystal. I don't really like any of these cards. I'm pretty unlikely to be able to get much out of Mana Addict. I think the Ancient of Mage is my best course here. I mean, it's a 2-5 for 4, which means there's a pretty good chance it could 2 for 1. You know, it could take out some relatively small stuff. And... The uh, the spell damage could buff up my cleave to do more damage. It's the only other spell I could actually use with it at the moment, but yeah, let's go with that. Some silence is good. 
but let's go with the Jungle Panther. Hmm. Okay, Whirlwind can be very, very nice if I have a lot of things that could be activated by it. At the moment, the only thing I have that can be activated by it is the Raging Worgen, of which I only have one. So I'm not going to go with that. Unless there's a lot to use it on, it's not worth it. Let's go with another Cleave. Arcanite Reaper, absolutely. Let's go to a River Crocolisk. Knife Juggler. Okay, Dalaran Mage, absolutely not. Thralmar Farseer. Hmm. I don't know. This thing rarely does much of anything. At least from what I've seen. Yeah, I mean, if I was playing a class or, you know, if, if I had a bunch of buffing cards in hand, maybe, but I don't really. So. I think maybe Vent... I don't know if I want to go with the Ventrico, though. Because I've got a minion-heavy deck. This is going to shut down my ability to, to play stuff. Nah, I'm going to go with the Thralmar. Fiery War Axe, yes. Alright, one Arknight Reaper, one Fiery War Axe. So I've got an early game weapon and a late game weapon. Definitely not the Magma Rager. A Wrathic Weaponsmith. Hmm. Maybe. Could be a stand-in. Or it could be terrible if I already have a good weapon out. But if I don't get one of my other weapons, it could be nice. Hmm. Could use some taunt, though. What's more valuable? Let's go with the taunt. I don't really like the Silverback Patriarch very much. Hmm. I do have some stuff I could protect, though. Like, would be that would be worth protecting early games, such as the Demolisher and the Knife Juggler. And the Raging Worgen. And the Thralmar. Hmm. Maybe I should, but then again, maybe I should get some big stuff at the end, too. I feel like that's been lacking. Like, I've recently I've focused on really low-cost minions, but I think I've also neglected the high-costers a little bit. A 7-7 seven, seven for 7 I don't think is very good, but it is big. And it is scary. In this case, I think the taunt's more valuable, though. Ancient Watcher. Uh, without something like a Defender of Argus? Absolutely not. Cold Light Oracle? No. Oh god, I don't like any of these. Um. Hmm. I guess Blood Sail Corsair? I've got a one coster. Yay. I don't like any of these. Hmm. Let's go with the charge. The word of the arena. I have no six costers. I could use some more card draw, but it's not a very good card. A two one for two. It doesn't do much, and it could be plinged off with like, well, a lot of hero abilities. Three of them to be exact, right? I think so. Mm, let's go with Lord of the Arena. <laughs> I don't want another one. Daryl Falfa? Motorfist Ogre is tempting. How many two costers do I have? Minions, I mean. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Hmm. I want more. Okay. Still don't really have much to activate with my Whirlwind. Definitely not worth it. Loot order, I guess. 
Okay, battle... Yeah, I definitely want Battle Rage. At the moment, the only card draw I really... I, I don't have that much card draw. I've got a Loot Hoarder and... A Cult Master. I feel like I want more. Yeah. Ooh. Execute or Bloodsail Raider? Bloodsail Raider can be extremely powerful. Given that I have two weapons. But then again, Execute can also allow me to take down something massive for relatively little loss or effort. I think I want the Execute. Take down big scary stuff. Hmm. Let's go with another two coster. Plus this also... Uh, this combos well with a couple things. Because it gets me two minions on the board, that means I can use the extra 1-1 one, one for, for example, the Cult Master. Extra card with my little minion on the board. Plus it could be used to do damage to start an Execute. So let's go with that. Alright, two cards remaining. Well, Sun Fairy Protector's not bad. Azir Drake, though... Uh, I've got two five-coster minions. I don't really want the armor smith. I have a lot of two-costers, though. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Yeah, let's go the five-coster. All right, last card. Commanding Shout. Hmm. Ow. Just hit my hand on something. Ah, son of a bitch. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. I don't have very many spells to combo with the Violet Teacher. But you really only need one spell to combo with her, to make her worth it. I mean, without a spell combo, you have a 3-5 for 4, which is not very good. But if you get one Violet Apprentice, you end up with 4-6 worth of stats for 4, which is really, really good. Young Priestess. Hmm. And I think it's the Young Priestess or the Commanding Shout. Which one do I want more? I mean, Commanding Shout could be horrible. Well, maybe not horrible. But it can be bad if your opponent has even a weak AoE. Because if you're using this, chances are you're going to have either... You're going to have one or more minions left at one health. Otherwise, you wouldn't be using it. You'd only use it if they're going to die, and if, they, if they're taking damage enough to kill them, then they're going to be reduced down to one. But if they don't, it can be incredibly valuable. Plus, it does draw a card, so it replaces itself. I feel like the Young Priestess is just going to die. Let's go with the Commanding Shout. Alright, um... That seems decent. I've got a lot of low costers. I've got some decent punch in the late game. Decent removal, two cleaves and one execute. I would have liked a lot more enraged creatures, though. Like Frothing Berserker, more Raging Worgens, Amani Berserker. Even a Torrent Warrior, just any enrage. I have almost no enrage. Which is really sad for a warrior deck. Oh wow, that's actually really good. Coin River Crocolisk, and then next turn, River Crocolisk. Man, I'm still really impressed with the art for all the cards. 
I mean, hell, the art for everything in the entire game, but... Especially the art for the cards were really, really good. Alright, don't shamans have lightning storm or something like that? Hmm. Well, I can remove one durability from that. Whoop de doo. Okay. Thing is, with what they have on the board, the most they could do is kill one or damage both. Which is why I'm thinking I'll do this. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna tickle your weapon. I'm probably gonna get lightning stormed or whatever it's called. The one that does what is it, two to three damage? No, I guess not. I can buff their spell damage, as if it matters. Right, well, if I put out the Raging Worgen, it's just going to be killed, probably, by the Infiltrator and the Stormforge Jax. Because they probably can't risk it. What now? Can't risk leaving it on the board, I mean. Same with this. This would actually survive, though. Which is why I'm thinking I should play this. Next turn, I could just straight up Fen Creeper. Or Rage and Hero Ability, or Rage and something else. Depending on what card I get. Hmm. Man, if I get a Cleave, I could do some really powerful stuff at the moment. Assuming they don't kill any of my Crockies. Not the Crockies, please, not the Crockies. Wow, they don't have much. So they're going to sacrifice their infiltrator and their weapon to kill one? Yes. I'm very much okay with that. Ooh, Silverhand Knight. That's got to be the play, right? I think so. What now? Yeah. Squire, Ready, sir. Job done. Ah! Uh. North Ren. Ooh. Nice play. Very, very nice. Hmm, the Fen Creeper can hold them off, and it would kill everything. Although, well, no wish Inventor is going to get healed. At the end of their turn. Or I could just sacrifice what I have on the board. Hmm. What now?
All right, neither of those things will die to anything they have on the board at the moment. We'll see what happens in a second. But yeah, I have some serious damage potential next turn. I could attack that and get 4 damage with the Wind Fury. This thing can do 4 damage with its Wind Fury. 4-4 four, four is 8, plus 2 is 10. Which is not quite lethal. Alright, yeah, they're gonna kill something, of course. They need- oh, wow, another one. Alright. They need to take damage off the board. What was a mistake? What to do? Did they mess something up and I didn't even realize it? Hmm. I could I could go for the face. I mean, I I could go for the face and then put my Ravenhold assassin out and if they don't have taunt, I'm good to go. If they do, I'm kind of screwed. I wonder. So... So... What's a better play? Do that, or like Bunker Down, Cold Master? Trade creatures, get stuff. Where am I? I see your end. I see your end. I hear you got a problem. YOLO. I hope I don't regret that. If they have a single taunt, it will shut down what I've got. That's a bit of a... That's a pretty big risk. I don't know if that was a good idea. Mm, fuck. Oh. My. God. I think I just lost the game. <laughs> wow. Wow. I made a bet, and it wasn't a very good one. I should probably just play Cleave, shouldn't I? Let's see what happens. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hmm. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. I wonder. I No, that's dumb. Nah, I gotta sacrifice this thing. I kinda need a card. Alright, well, I'm not in a horrible position, but I'm not in a great one. Yeah, that was a big gamble. Probably a stupid gamble. I mean, just because... oh, wow. Just because something doesn't work out doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad choice, though. That's the thing. Some can simply have a higher probability of being a good choice than the other options. But it can still, you know, there's still a chance it doesn't work. But I'm pretty sure that was dumb, especially since their, you know, their hero power allows them to get taunts. 
And the chance of them having either a taunt in their totem or in the cards they have in their hand were, was pretty high. Okay, if I get a weapon here, I'm pretty sure I'm good to go. <laughs> Mad Bomber? There's five targets. You need to hit one three times. A 40-40 light spot on the other side? Oh my god. What now? <sighs> Come on, Mad Bomber. Don't let me down. Mad Bomber. Mad Bomber. Hmm. I'm still in it. I mean, if I get a weapon... I know my Urkanite Reaper does five. What does my, my other weapon do? I think it does three, right? Oh my god. Even if I get the weapon, it doesn't matter here. Two more damage and I could have won. Play everything, I guess. The hell else am I gonna do? Kindly hit them in the face, please, Demolisher. Oh, it's at the start of your turn, not the end. Never mind. Ah, destroy the board. Am I seriously going to lose with the opponent at 3 health? Oh no, I'm letting all the heat out of the inn! Yeah, I'll shut the door. health. It's not a taunt. Just... Please don't be a taunt, totemic all. Please. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on. I need a top deck. Uh, that's fine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come oh, yes. Oh, thank the freaking gods. All right, note to self, don't do that again. I made a gamble, a pretty bad one, and it didn't pay off. Do I want the Blood Cell Raider this early? It's a 2-3 for 2. I mean, it's good. <laughs> I def definitely don't want to execute this early. Huh. 
Rar. No, seriously, that is a really disturbing looking card, actually, if you look at it closely. I'm sorry, what? What'd you say? A natural mistake. I'm not sure if they misclicked or if they're just being a dick. Yeah, look at that. Look at that thing. It's really disturbing looking. It's got like differently colored eyes and there's like blood's dripping out of its mouth. Hmm. Do I kill a two-coster with a two-coster? I could. Yeah, let's do it. Good play, good play. Probably just play both of them. Maybe cleave next turn. Hmm. Nah, I'd like to Silverhand Knight, though. Could even potentially cleave and then execute if it's something particularly large, but with four mana, probably not. Hmm? They're coining it, maybe. Okay, that's definitely a cleave execute. Right? I I think so. What now? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I don't have very many cards here. That's the bad thing. The good thing is I have a lot of early pressure. Board presence, and I've done a lot more damage, but again, not many cards. Hmm, now what do they have? They have Swipe, don't they? Swipe could be pretty... Oh, wow. Alright, making a wall. Don't have any good way through that. Ready, sir. Hmm. Let me hero power that. Ow. Right, that leaves me in a bad spot. I've got a four... Uh, I've got a ten health advantage on him, but a severe card disadvantage.
yeah, I'm pretty sure I've lost this just due to cards alone. I do have a 3 damage cleave, though. That's some serious cleavage. Nice play. Oh god, not the overlaid cards thing again. Jesus. Alright, let's see what I get. Alright, that three damage cleave is looking pretty good. Ooh. Hmm. Well, I could do both. Okay. Let's see here. Alright, pop the Divine Shield and see what card I get. Worth using this turn? No. Where am I? Oh. Next turn, though, I could... Well, hell, I almost have lethal next turn. If I get an Arcanite Reaper, I will. Truth is my mm, never mind. Glory to the oh my god. <laughs> Crap. Okay, then. Hmm. How cruel. I wonder. <sighs> Do I want a commanding shout here? I can kill that and then go for the face or do I do damage on that? It wouldn't really accomplish anything. There's little point in using Commanding Shout right now. Farewell. I mean, they can take out the 6-1 with their face, but they're taking a lot of damage to do so. They get themselves down to 4 health, and then they can take out my 4-4 four, four with their 6-6. Six, six. That's not another swipe, is it? Hmm. Alright, no taunt. Seriously. I have nine damage potential.
Right, do I go for the face and put them on a clock where if they can't get a taunt, they're pretty much guaranteed to be dead? Or do I take this out with my Arcanite Reaper and then go for the face, leaving them at six? I think I should go for the face. I mean, if I went with this for the Arcanite Reaper, and then I used that against their face, I wouldn't have enough damage to kill them with my weapon alone, and I'm, frankly, I'm unlikely, I'm unlikely to get anything to stick to the board at this point. So I really need to bank on them not having taunt. What to do? Yeah, nothing I play is going to stick to the board anymore. Oh, they're going to have six. Fuck. Ugh. Oh. Cleanse the sun well. Why do I keep getting in these games where they have like one health left? Jesus. Do I just play the Cult Master? The only thing I can hope for at this point, really, is that I get another weapon. Or I get my charge bluegill warrior, whatever it's called. And that they don't have a taunt. Wow. God, this is such a close game. They have 13 damage on the board. Wouldn't it be funny if I won on my second match again with top decking another weapon? Alright, it's not a taunt. Doesn't really matter. Alright, two things. I think my other weapon and my bluegill warrior. That might be it. It's not over yet. One card. Damn it. Well, at least if I keep getting him down to one health, I'm gonna complete this daily quest to do 100 damage pretty soon. Not bad at all. Night Juggler first, of course, and then River Crocolus to proc it. Okay then, that's fine. Ooh, Druid of the, what's it called? Druid of the Claw? Oh, I am 
Oh. Not a morning person. What are you playing? Why do they want that so much? That's really, really strange. Almost makes me think I should go nuclear on it. 2-1 for now, how about you? Now, oh, Raging Worgen would... be a decent mix with what they have. Not the best, they'd probably just kill it with their hero power plus their two things. Huh. The fact that they wanted to get this Imp Master out so early makes me think they have something really powerful to play with it. It's not a Defender of Argus, is it? What are you doing? Uh, it always makes me so nervous when they have cards hovering over the board constantly. Oh, fair enough. Got a swipe would be good. Kill the taunt, take my two, two two twos down to two ones, and then use their imps to take them out, and be left with a two four on the board. But nope, nope, that's pretty good too. That is really good. Huh? I could double cleave. Uh, no. Right, well, I'm running low cards again. Which seems to be a theme with my arena runs. Maybe I need to prioritize card draw more. I don't know. What to do? Thank you for the card. And it's overlaid again. <sighs> Do I cleave? They really don't have much damage on the board. They only have six. Is 
They only have six. Oh my god. Right, well at least they've simmered back down. And they burned a lot of cards doing it. Could be okay for me. <laughs> I've got to throw my cards around so I can actually get to what's actually behind here. I hear you got a problem. Oh, and now they're overlaid again. All right. Well, my pl what the hell? Jesus Christ! My <laughs> You're covering up my my health. What? Fen Creeper. There we go. Sixteen. I'm gonna bank on them not having crazy buffs like that again. And next turn, I'll probably cleave and Fen Creeper to protect my seven five. Good, they didn't go taunt. I'm happy about that. What? What is that? Don't be another buff. Oh, great. Yeah. About that. Hmm. Do I double cleave or do I fend creeper and cleave? What a shitty cleave. Didn't kill a single damn thing. Is my oh my god. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've lost. Can't go for that. You can sacrifice all three of your creatures against my Fen Creeper and then take it out with your 1 1. Which would be a lot to lose, but it'd leave you in a very good position. Right, well, with what's on the board and their hero power, I'm one away from death. Cleave is, well, cleave is impossible, actually. You can't even use cleave if there isn't two enemy minions on the board. Is there any point in playing the Cult Master? Any? Not really. They, they almost certainly have what they need to win in their hand. Any damage, any buff. No. Okay. Arcanine Reaper. Utterly useless against minions at the moment, because I'll die. Hmm. See, I can cleave, pop the Divine Shield, Cult Master, and then attack that, which wouldn't kill it, but then it would also give me a card. Or I could Cult Master and kill it and have two more mana to possibly play a card, but do less damage to the Sunwalker. Do two instead of four. Is there a difference? Does it matter? I don't know. Hmm. 
Nope. Well played. One, two. Riding this deck into the ground. Not bad. <laughs> Greetings. You shall not pass. Well played. Did you seriously just fucking say well played? Instead of greetings? Fuck you. Ooh, very good play when you have a healing class. Which is why I am going to kill that right now. Yeah, we're going to have none of that. No priestly shenanigans for you. That's gonna die too. Feed me your minions. I will gladly take them. I want to beat this person into the ground just for saying well played instead of greetings. That's such horrible manners, I just want to pound their face into the ground. Figuratively speaking, of course. Bring me steel. That's gonna die. Ha! <laughs> they think giving it two health is gonna stop me from punching it in the face with my Arcanide Reaper. Don't care! No. 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 Denied. No priestly shenanigans. Go away. Is someone injured? Nope. That's gonna die too. Don't care. No, no. It, you can't do whatever you want to it. It's gonna die. Why the hell did you just... What? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I can sacrifice a 1-1 one, one into it. I'm okay with that. Denied. Hmm. 
Raging Worgen. Do I Raging Worgen? What do they have that could ruin me? I'm not sure. I'm just looking at my hand and I'm really liking the combo of Raging Worgen and Commanding Shout. That's all you have? Hmm. I might just leave that. And Ravenhold Assassin. Yeah, I have to win against this person, as a matter of principle. For saying well played at the beginning. No, just, just no. Like, it's a matter of my honor at this point. Alright, still not gonna save you. Or does it save them? It does save them, actually, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Huh. That's unfortunate. What now? Hmm. Do I use Commanding Shout here? Or do I save it? I must choose. I I totally forgot that Commanding Shout actually gives you a card. <laughs> I have a 4 damage cleave. That is an angry cleave. Alright, come on. What have you got? I don't even have a weapon. Bring me steel. You've lost, haven't you? Alright, so this, wasn't, this person was a total dick. And it was incredibly bad matters in the beginning. So you, do, you know what, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to be incredibly polite and not overkill them. Alright, I feel good about that. You know, I didn't check the person's name. This is another priest. It's not the same one, is it? I really don't want the Thralmar. I didn't even want to pick it. Oh my god, that is not any better.
Okay, I guess it's not the same one. Because they were actually polite. Do you like to play with fire? No. No, I, I don't. But I do like to hopefully get lucky. With RNG. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yes! It... <sighs> Mad Bomber. <sighs> well, at least it destroyed your own minion. Yeah, they should have attacked me first. They made a mistake, they realized it. Wow, these are not, like, what the hell? Five, five, six, seven. I have, like, nine two-costers. Hmm. They're just gonna enrage off of my wolf. Then punch me in the face, what the hell can I do about it? Nothing. Not a single thing. What now? Yeah, that's what I would have done. Hmm. The Azure Drake just trades for it. This won't kill it, but it won't die. What do I play next turn? Hmm. Do I want to trade a Do I want to trade a five coster for a four coster? This one does give me a card. Not sure which one was better. I am not a morning person. Mind if I roll need? All right, so at least I got more value out of mine than they got out of theirs. Because I get a card back, they got nothing out of theirs. <laughs> I could just straight up lure the arena. Nah, I don't. I don't need that much damage. Six damage. I could just fend creeper. I wonder. They might just have a shadow word card for that. Shadow word this. Shadow word that. Shadow word. Shadow word. Shadow. 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 Words. 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 They wanted a card. Oh, dear God. They are gonna get some value out of that Imp Master. Or not, because I'm gonna shut it down. Right now. Right freaking now. Then again, I could kill the Temple Enforcer instead. No, killing this makes more sense, I think. What now?
Yeah. That seems like a good play to me. Next turn, if I get a cleave, I could even potentially Ancient Mage and cleave. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Until the end of the turn, I'm gonna get that back. Alright, I could Battle Rage for two cards at the moment. Two cards for two costs, not bad. Huh. Finished 3-3, three, three. not bad. 3-3 three, is respectable. Huh. Let's see what I get. Ooh, actually I can kill that thing. Okay. All right, kind of resets the board. And I've got a card advantage. And I've got pretty big cards as well. Six, seven, four, and three. That's also pretty big. Ah, Blitzel Raider. Could have used you a little while ago. Hmm. Oh, that was stupid. I killed that thinking, hey, when they go to attack my lord of the arena, it's not going to die. And then I just realized, they can just heal it. They're a priest. Pri <laughs> Priests heal. Yeah, I should have taken out their 1-1. Hmm. Alright, now they have a card advantage. Oh god. And they're going to heal it. That thing's going to be the death of me. Hmm. Alright, at least no matter what they heal that up to using their ability, I can just take it out with my Ravenhold Assassin. 7 coster for a 7 coster, not bad. And I can suicide this for a card. Right. Well, I've lost the game. And <laughs> River Crocolisk is not going to help me. Oh, 
Ooh, execute. Good, 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 good. Right, well, I obviously have to do that to stay alive. I can't let them have my 7-5. I can't. Do I just kill it now? What now? Killing a 5-coster for a 7-coster. That does not seem good. Nothing to take. I think I just need to play everything. Oh my god. Yeah, I've lost. I've lost so, so hard. They're gonna kill that, it's not gonna die. They're gonna use their Cobra against that, it's not gonna die. Oh my god. Well, I'm not dead next turn at least. That's something. I don't know if I have anything in my deck that would turn this around. Ah, 10 cost mind control on a raging worgen. It doesn't matter, the game's pretty much over. Yeah, well played. Yeah, I can't do anything. Two, three. Ah, the glory. The glory. Do you hear that? That's the sound of people cheering my name. Oh, wait, you don't hear it? Oh, yeah, that's right, because it doesn't exist. Fifty dust. Yay. Alright, what's in the back? Preparation! Whoa! Epic, golden, and rare. A golden temp temple enforcer. Yeah, the temple enforcer is a damn good card. A 6-6 six, six for 6, which is not very good, but it's, it's okay alone, but then with the battle cry, it's just damn good. Well, I don't have enough gold to do another arena. Guess I'll have to do some play. Alright, well, I hope everyone enjoyed, and I will be back soon with more arena runs.